This is a very quick clip just to show you how to record sermons in services. We use a piece of software called Audacity and on the PC in the in the church uh, this little icon down here, the little headphones, is the one that you click on at the bottom. It'll be in the bottom bar as well to start it up. And very simply to record what's coming through the PA system all you do is push that red button there, the record button, and that'll start recording. At the moment it's recording my voice, uh, so you see we can make it go still for a moment. And then when I speak again you'll see the, the sound coming through. On the recording in the church, the, the lines might not be quite this dramatic when when voice is being recorded, but that's alright. It records all the data and we can amplify it later. But the key is simply to push that start button there and uh, then at the end of the service, and sometimes we can let the recording run through all three if need be, but at, at, at the point where you want to turn the software off and save the recording, press the stop button, go to the file menu, choose save project, don't worry about that box, it won't appear in the church, and we have a folder on the church PC called sermons. I don't think we have the same one on this machine that I'm showing you, but let's say for example, oh there we go, there's sermons. And we're going to go in there and the naming convention that we use for saving sermons is the year, followed by the month, followed by the date. Uh, let's go with the 19th and usually then an underscore and the service time. Uh, that's particularly helpful if we have different recordings for different services, but so say this is for the uh, 7 o'clock service and press save and that will then save that project and you can close the app and uh, we're done.